Hey guys, welcome back. A new software update is rolling out for OnePlus 5 and 5T users, which is for beta channel. For OnePlus 5, it is open beta 30, and for OnePlus 5T, it is open beta 28. As update is rolling out in batches, so it might take some time for you to receive the same update. But if you want to update your device right now, then you can download the VPN application. In my case, I'll be using Turbo VPN. Once you have this application, you need to change the region to Netherland. Once you change the region to Netherland, then you can go to Settings, System, System Update, and you should have the OTA available. If you are running stable version on your device, then you can download the complete zip file from the description below, place it inside internal storage, then go to System Update section, tap the gear icon towards the right top corner, select Local Upgrade, and you can choose the file. Moving from stable to beta version won't affect your data. So as you can see here, after changing the region we have received the OTA update and the update size on my OnePlus 5 is 408 MB. So let's download this update and complete the installation process. Once downloading process is completed, you can reboot your device to upgrade. Entire process of downloading and installation will take around 7 to 8 minutes. So our device have been successfully updated. Let me show you the software information now. So these are the software information here you can see Oxygen OS Open Beta 30. This is our OnePlus 5. Under Android version, Android version is 9. Now security patch has been updated to 1st April 2019 and the build date is 11th April. You'll also see OnePlus privacy policy update as soon as your device boots up. After this update, launcher has been updated to version 3.3.2. And now let's take a look at the change logs and see what changes they have done with this latest update. And these are the change logs which are related to system, quick reply in landscape and launcher. First one under system it says, now security patch has been updated to April 2019. So yes, I have already shown you, now security patch has been updated to the latest one which is 1st April 2019. Next one is improved network speed display. Here you can see in the status bar now we also have a new design for the network speed display. And the last one under system is supported shortcuts to access corresponding interface in quick settings. So here they are relating to these quick settings what are available you just need to long press them and this will directly take you to the main menu of the settings. Like if you press and hold night mode it will directly take you to the corresponding settings. And I think this feature was already available but few of the quick setting tiles were not supported now it is fully supported. Moving on to the next change log, which is quick reply in landscape which says supported quick reply in the notification bar. So first you need to enable this feature by going to settings, utilities and here you have this option which says quick reply in landscape. On the top it will show you the supported application and from here you need to enable floating keyboard. You also get an animation which shows how does it work. So here whenever you get any message you'll have an option of quick reply directly from the notification panel. And then we have few changes related to launcher in which first one it says added tutorial in the shelf. So let's go to shelf and here you'll get this welcome to parking location. This is also a new feature what they have added. Then you have this simple tutorial available where you can manage your cards. Then under launcher they have added parking location feature which is a cool feature so you need to enable this from here. After that you will get this card inside the shelf from where you can take the picture of the parked vehicle and you can also mark the location which will make easy to locate any vehicle parked in the parking place. And the last change log under launcher is improved page indicator to mirror icon pack. So here I think they are relating to the icon packs what are available that is if you switch from round to square or square to round the same will be shown when you swipe between the home pages. But I'm not sure about it. If you guys are aware then do let me know in the comment section below. So guys these were the change logs of latest Oxygen OS open beta for OnePlus 5 and 5T. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results using Geekbench application and Antutu bench application. 
with Geekbench application single core has scored 1922 wherein multi core has scored 6267 and with Ento2 benchmark application device has scored 182733 which is almost 10000 higher than the previous open beta so guys this was all about the new update for OnePlus 5 and 5T if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day